Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video where I look at the stra one of the strangest things to happen to a footballer. The footballer I am talking about today is Han Kwang Song, a North Korean and former Juventus player who apparently went missing. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. It's only one click, a few seconds of your time. If you want to see more videos like this, he started his career at Chobyong CSC Youth, who are a North Korean youth team, who I can't find any information now. And when I mean I can't find any information, it's been half an hour, and I can only see the transfermarket.com profile for them. So I think there's not a lot about them. And he spent six months there before bouncing around Spain. And to North Korea, going back and forth between the two, before surprisingly moving to Serie A giant Caligari. He was sent on loan to Perugia twice and played in the Serie B player final, but for only 48 minutes and didn't manage to win, unfortunately. But he impressed heavily there. But he was never able to break into the first team in the only season that he spent at Caligari, before earning a move. To your vendors of all places. So this is Manu in the space of just four years. Has gone from North Korea to Spain to Italy. And now has landed at Juventus. What? This guy is like the Italian Eric Chupamolto. I know he's Cameroonian but, you know. He was able to level up in his game. And was able to level up in his football as well. He then played in the Juventus under-23 team in CBC and played regularly for them before again changing teams in 2020 and he's decided to do a change of scenery and he's moved to the Qatari club of Al Duhali SC for 7 million and played in the Asian Champions League for them until a fateful day, the 1st July 2021. When, due to the sanctions against North Korea, which prevents North Koreans from working abroad, Han was released by El by Al Duhali and was due to return to his country, where he has not been heard from since. And what I be and what I mean by not been heard of since, he has not played for the national team, he has not played in any club, and he has not been spotted by any of the journalists which are present. North Korea. He has also represented the North Korean national team, playing 10 times and scoring once. But, due to the country's restricted policies, he does not give any interviews, and it is alleged that most of his salary is sent to the government. This is very disappointing, as Han was a very skilled footballer, being able to use both feet, impressive dribbling school skills, and having an eye for goal. He was hailed as a future star, but eventually his country's politics propelled him back from world stage. He was even present in FIFA 21 and had a rating of 70, which is quite impressive indeed, and had impressive, and had impressive shooting and dribbling stats. This is very unfortunate indeed. Sadly, like, mo like most North Koreans, he is restricted to his country's and his country's politics. But he did have some hope in his earlier years, being a very impressive footballer, and he was able to move from North Korea and start a life in Europe. But for some reason, the UN and their sanctions, they forced him to go back to North Korea. And sadly, that's where he still is today. And he's not been heard for in a year. His the last time that he's been heard of is July 1st, 2021, which is almost a year before I put this out, first of all. Also, this is going to be the first episode in the series I'm going to be doing called Dark Football, which will be ever-present on my channel. So, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see that. I've been Martino, and goodbye.